Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental L. Let's talk about the toothpaste that has pretty much gone viral. Everybody's talking about it. I was asked to review it a couple months ago now, and I did. So I'm going to talk to you guys about my honest thoughts. Some are good, some are bad. Um, and kind of the company as a whole, because as dental professionals, hygienists are talking about it because we're all hearing about it. Um, patients are asking us about it, but also there's kind of some weird things happening within the company. So let me kind of explain that a little bit. So I shouldn't say the company, sorry, um, the people in the company. So I'll talk about that first, okay? So there have been um, reps of the company randomly just messaging people, okay? Just randomly messaging people. And these days, nobody likes spam. Nobody wants to see people that we don't know trying to become our friend on Facebook because we tend to wonder like, what are they doing? You know, these days, social media is huge, which I think is a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing too. And even me, just last week, I probably got three messages a day from random people. They were all dental hygienists, unfortunately, because it kind of gives us a bad name, honestly. Um, and they all, copied and pasted the same message to me. And that was, I would love to connect with you on Facebook. Yay, you know. Um, but they all said the exact same thing word for word. So that tells me, and that probably tells all of you if you've seen those messages, they don't care about me. They don't care about you. They just want to sell you some toothpaste, which is unfortunate. And I do understand that because I have been with companies before where you make a commission from what you sell. Honestly, that's how it works. There's nothing wrong with that, but we all kind of get this bad taste in our mouth. You know, think of when somebody comes to your door at six o'clock at night. You know, that's the last person you want to see is somebody trying to sell you something. That happened to me the other day. Somebody came to the door actually in the afternoon. Um, I was though in the middle of making lunch. The dogs were outside. Um, they started barking when they heard the doorbell, you know, so it was just annoying. Um, I assumed that it was mail. We constantly get packages to our house. So I just assumed that it was mail. I didn't think anything of it. But then as soon as I could tell it was somebody selling something, I'm like, oh, I don't have time for this. My dogs are outside barking. I have food on the stove. I literally don't care what you have to say, honestly. And that's what's happening on social media is this toothpaste. Those who are reps of that company are, tr are just trying to sell, 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 sell by randomly messaging people. And a little insider's tip, which I probably shouldn't even be saying this, but why not? It's, tr it's true. If I don't say it, somebody else will. Um, you know, those companies, that team, those teams, one of the, you know, tips on how to sell is to cold message people. You know, we used to go door to door to door and that does work sometimes, believe it or not on social media, it does work as well sometimes. But if you keep seeing that over and over and over again, you just get annoyed, right? As do I. Now, so that's what's happening is if you've been getting those messages, it's because they're not trying to be rude or spammy. They just want to sell you some toothpaste that they truly know or think works, but they're just going about it the wrong way. Now, full disclosure is I am a rep for that company too, but not the sell, 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 sell kind. Like I don't go on social media for two hours every day, you know, posting, selling, messaging, no. I'm a rep simply because I love the product and I'm being honest. In fact, I will show you guys right now. I love this toothpaste. It works for me. It works for my patients. Honestly, I'm not saying this because I sell it. I sell it because I love it. And I think you all should know me now that I would not sell you guys anything that I didn't truly believe in myself. But that's the thing is I don't just automatically talk about it to everybody. If, if, if I have a patient and this just happened the other day where a patient says to me, you know, I really want whiter teeth, 
but I've tried white strips. They really like hurt me. I don't want to do that again. Do you know something or, you know, a toothpaste that I could try that would help? Okay. When I hear that, I pull this out and say, try this stuff. I use it myself and I swear by it, it works. I use this myself, okay? I'm the one where I would get my teeth cleaned every four months, not because of plaque and tartar, but because of stain. Stain just likes to attach to my teeth like nothing else. I have thin enamel, so that's probably why. But like coffee, tea, it just like attaches to my enamel like crazy and I'm a dental hygienist. I have my own business. I don't want, you know, stains on my teeth. This stuff works. My last dental appointment was probably six or seven months ago. I probably have to book that, whoops. But, um, but that just tells me that this stuff works because I haven't even thought about booking my next dental appointment because I, you know, I look. Even my, um, for you um, dental professionals, my lower anterior linguals always get stain, always get plaque, always get tartar, which is normal, but I have none of that now. And it's been six months. I'm not saying it's the toothpaste for sure, but that's the only thing that I've changed. So I love this toothpaste, honestly. Um, so yes, I'm a rep for the company, you know, technically, but I don't sell, sell, sell like my team, you know, pretty much tells you to because yes, as with any company that you make a commission, the more you sell, obviously, the more commission you make, which makes sense. Um, plus, if you have people on your team who sell also, so meaning if I told my sister to sign up for this company to sell toothpaste also, with every sale that she sells, she gets a commission, but so do I, because she's on my team. So when I say my team, that's what I mean. So the team that I'm, I'm on, my um, higher ups, they make a commission from everything I sell. So they want me to be sell, 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 but I'm not. There's probably team meetings once a week, which is awesome. We have like information type um, um, meetings. We have a Facebook group where there's like a, a post in there, you know, like every day, like you should do this today to sell, blah, 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 which is awesome. When you are first um, starting, it's awesome because it's nice to get those tips, right? But now I don't need them because I don't sell, 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 sell. I just, I just have it for myself. And if patients ask me about a toothpaste that they can use to help to whiten, um, a toothpaste that will not cause them sensitivity, a toothpaste that is not abrasive. That's the big thing, is that if a toothpaste whitens, make sure it's not abrasive. They all are. This one is not. I cannot remember the number on the um, abrasiveness scale. I did post it in the group a little while ago, so I'll check that again but it's much less abrasive than any other whitening toothpaste out there because that's my thing too, is I don't want to give a, um, a patient a toothpaste that's going to be abrasive, nor do I want one that's abrasive because I have thin um, enamel. So this is why, uh, sorry guys, I'm just checking for my husband because he should be home soon and I locked the door and he forgot his keys. So <laughs> just kind of checking. Um, but yeah, so this, yes, I love the toothpaste. If you're thinking about a charcoal um, toothpaste versus this one, get this one because the charcoal is too abrasive, way, way, way too, too abrasive. And it makes a mess of your bathroom sink. It gets everywhere. There's black stuff everywhere. Yes, it is easy to clean up, but who wants to clean up after they brush their teeth? Not me. So that's something that nobody tells you, right? This toothpaste is so much better. If you want to try it, let me know. I would be more than happy to send it to you. If you're looking to make some extra money, let me know. And then you can be on my team and I can teach you guys how to sell without being annoying and without being um, like spammy because I hate that. You hate that. I hate that. We all hate that. If you have any questions, let me know because honestly, I love this stuff. You can probably tell. 
um, that I use it myself. No, you can't really tell. I just thought you might be able to tell, but I need some new stuff soon, actually. I got this in October, I think. So yeah, in about, I think it lasts about six or seven months, I'm told, but I love, love, love this stuff, okay? And my patients love it too. Um, even I just posted the other day where I did um, a whitening treatment on a patient and then she took the paste home and after three days, three or four days, I forget now, but her teeth were, were even lighter. I went to her house. I had um, a shade guide, which I don't have with me, but her, her, her teeth were almost a full shade lighter than after I had used the whitening treatment. Because the nice thing um, uh, to you guys is that it takes the stain away, plus it does apply a thin coating over top to prevent further stain. No other whitening toothpaste does that. So yes, the other you know stuff takes the stain away, but it kind of leaves your enamel more susceptible for more stain. This does not because it does apply a thin coating over top. But anyways, I'm not trying to sell you guys the toothpaste, but I'm just telling you guys the honest facts. One quick thing though, um, a lot of the reps of the company are posting saying that yes, it does remove stain from crowns, bridges, veneers, it does not, okay, it doesn't. It does not remove stain from crowns, bridges. Think um, anything lab, like that, that's been made in a lab, it will not take away that stain. It's not magic, okay? So I'm just trying to tell people that too, because unfortunately I just think, I, I don't think that the people who are saying that it does are trying to give out false information. I just think they're confused and they don't really know. That's what I'm thinking. But anyways, you guys, if you have any questions, let me know, please. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.